today I'm going to talk about raspberries. I'm going to talk about random facts, compile a bunch of different images, pictures that I'll draw, and just explain some of the plant properties, pieces, and harvesting them. I like raspberries and I want to talk about them. So if you want to learn about them, stay tuned for this video. Raspberries. Raspberries are one of my absolute favorite plants to eat and harvest. So, thank goodness they can be found all the way from Louisiana all the way up to Alaska. The black raspberry on my bucket list of, on my berry bucket list, I should say, can be found from Wyoming to British Columbia. Let's start with a plant description. Raspberries are in the shrub category. They run anywhere from a foot to seven feet tall in singular straight stock branches that are called cane. The leaves are bright green when young and deepen in color with maturity. The leaves have a sawtooth edge that can have anywhere from one, three, or five leaflet points. Raspberries are self-fertile, meaning they don't actually need pollinators to create fruiting bodies. Each cane lives for two years. The first year, it grows almost to full height, producing leaves, but no fruit. And in the second year, the cane matures and produces flowers and fruit, and then that individual cane dies. The flowers are white with yellow centers, and they measure about an inch in diameter and have five petals. The flowers usually appear on the plant in late June to the beginning of July, and when the flower is wilted away, the center begins to expand outward and begins to resemble a green raspberry. The berry is ripe when it's fully red and easily falls from the stem when lightly pulled. Once the berries are ripe, they can be used in a variety of recipes. Sweet to savory, these berries are top-notch culinary-wise. Fresh is the best, but many dishes and desserts can be made from raspberries. Maybe I'll post some recipes here soon. The berries aren't the only edible part of the raspberry plant, though. The leaves off the raspberry plant have been used to make a tea used in homeopathic medicine for labor pains both before and after childbirth. Menstrual pains have also been treated historically with raspberry tea. Fragarine is a compound found in the leaves of raspberry plants that can act as a stimulant or relaxant for the muscles of the uterus. Please note that most scientific tests trying to prove any solid evidence approving effectiveness of raspberry plant products have been inconclusive or contradictory. Also note that you should never use wilted leaves. Wilted leaves may contain toxins. Always harvest fresh and healthy green leaves and use them in a timely fashion or dry them properly in order to use them. If you're going out to harvest raspberries, either on agricultural land or in the woods, please prepare properly. Wearing the proper clothing, such as layers or rain gear, are essential in most of the places that I have picked raspberries. A hat and proper foot gear is also a necessity. A bucket with a comfortable neck strap is a tool that will improve your bulk harvesting possibilities by leagues. If you can keep your hands free, picking is much easier and faster, and it's so much easier to hold the branch while picking at a cluster of, ber of berries versus like slingshotting the branch after you grab each cluster. I often put freezer gallon bags in the bucket to put directly in the freezer, but that's only when I'm able to pick at a much slower pace and an even pace so I can be picky about what I'm picking. If you're in a need for speed harvest mode and you're just like after the gallons, then I wouldn't put the bag in the bucket and just go to town so you can sort before you put things in the freezer because you're going to have beetles, stems, rotten berries, everything in there if you are going fast paced. Raspberries are enjoyed by an array of animals from bears to chickadees. The berry patch can be full of activity in the late summer when the fruit is ripe. The raspberries hold winter importance as well. Some animals, such as rabbits, eat at the cane shoots as part of their winter reserves. Thank you to whomever made it through this video with me. 
I'm new to compiling all of these together and would enjoy if you showed your support by hitting that like and subscribe button below. I will be posting videos on this channel on some sort of schedule in the near future. The facts I listed in this video are in the description down below. Feel free to leave a comment, question, or another fun raspberry fact, because I left out a bunch, in the comments, and I will respond in kind if the comments are kind. Stay inspired, everybody. Thank you. Are you eyeing my raspberries?